orange blaze. Indicating go this way. Okay, uh, let's stop a moment to discuss something. So, I don't exactly see where the trail is supposed to go. There was an orange blaze, <clears throat> but that I can't really tell what's going on with the trail. So, when something like this happens, I say, if you're going to keep walking, you should take note of your surroundings before you get too deep in at all. So... There's the picnic table, and there's the nature center back there, and that slide, and of course we've got the dam here. So we'll stick to the east bank of Kettle Creek here. Uh, and there's another little stream right here, uh, which we're also on the east side of. So the idea is make sure we know how to get back, you know? Uh, if you wander too far off someplace, looking I'm looking for another orange blaze okay and all I see is here's a little stream that we have to cross it comes from a spring back there I guess and so it's easy to get across and maybe continue down that way or go over here and uh, go across this one and continue over there which I think I'm gonna do. But either way, you know, we gotta make sure that we know how to get back. And of course, the Kettle Creek over here is a major landmark and just staying beside it should uh, certainly do the trick, but you know. <clears throat> you get the point. Because you wander off into stuff like this, especially if there's no <laughs> rushing creek beside you. And it doesn't take long before it all looks the same. And you've been zigzagging, so you don't have a great sense of direction anymore. Now you're trying to figure out how to get back, and it still all looks the same. You can imagine how panic could set in. And you say... Oh crap, I have no idea where I am. No idea how to get back. I don't recognize anything. One thing's for certain. I don't see any gash dern orange blazes. You can see the road up there on the hillside. That's the road along which the car is parked. It doesn't seem like we've descended that much, but the road has probably ascended. Look how those trees are out there. You can definitely tell that this creek is really high. Yeah, I definitely don't see any blazes out here anywhere, or even the signs of a trail. So, let's go back. Do I have any recommendations for what you should do if you're lost in the woods and you have no idea where you are or how to get back? Uh, not really. Um, I would be lying if I said, I'm an experienced woodsman, and yes, I'm just the person to consult on this. Not at all. But I guess I could speculate on what I would do in that situation. If it is daytime, and if I could tell where the sun was, which I can here, I can see that the sun is behind those clouds, even though it's quite overcast. Um, then I would try to use it to keep some sense of direction. And I think most likely I would, uh, from where I am, pick a direction that seems mostly downhill and just start walking in that direction and just keep going in that direction. Try not to waver from it. Just keep going. Um, 
with the hope of coming out to a road eventually. So I would want to try to avoid just zigzagging around and wandering around in circles. Um, you know, and possibly recognizing something after like an hour of wandering and saying, oh, I was just here an hour ago. I made no progress. But I think I'd try to navigate by the sun and pick one direction to go. Oh,